guys, it's Trader 24 here, and today I'm going to review for you guys, and also today was the same day I did my review for my previous video for pre -Vizsla. Um so today I'm reviewing for you guys the Man Mandal Mando um, uh, <laughs> Mandalorian Police Officer. I always mess that up on that, I don't know why, okay. So, for this figure, um... I actually lost the box where it has like a picture of them and uh, like what it says about them, but I'll still do a review obviously, um, but I just won't be reading the back of it, okay, so um, I hope you don't mind of that, so anyway, let's get started. For this figure, the articulations are basically a uh, swivel head, um, ball hinged shoulders, uh, ball hinged elbows, ball hinged wrist, and um, swivel hips, and unfortunately no lower articulation, um, you can't move the knees and you can't move the foot, which is, uh, I really don't like that about this figure, but it still looks cool. Now let's talk about the figure, um, what I first thing I noticed was this is not the, um, Normal man Mandalorian police officer. What I, what I mean by that is, you know, on the front, um, on the box it said Mandalorian police officer, but this is actually what they should have put. Well, in my opinion, is Mandalorian police officer captain, because this is not just any. And if you see, there's an uh, you see how there's like the number twenty two over there. You see that twenty two, and then also on the other side twenty two. Um, it's actually the captain. Now, there was an episode that I watched where this guy actually showed up, and uh, I don't remember the name of the episode, but um, when this guy showed up, it was, it's the same guy because I know because he had the 22 and everything, and when he showed up, um, Duchess of Teen actually called him Captain instead of just the um, guards or police officers or whatever, um, she actually called him Captain, meaning that he is Captain because if it was just any normal guards, I don't think he'd have a number 22. I mean, what's the, what's the reason for that, you know? Um, I don't know what the reason they, they put for the captain, um, Y-22, but um, I don't think this is just any normal Mandalorian police officer. Alright, now let's start with the head. Um, you can't see his hair because it's, the hel it's covered by the helmet and you can't take it off or anything. But what you can do is actually, you can move this fuzzer down like that but one thing I don't like about this is the visor is a bit loose if you see how like there's like no space at all there's barely any space where the lips is or the mouth is it's because it's actually supposed to be higher it's supposed to be at least it's supposed to be this high I see that instead of being all the way down here because on the picture it said it actually showed it like about this high instead of going down like that and I, it's actually really loose now, I personally like to keep it up, because it just looks cool like that, but some of you may like it like this. Now, onto the armor. I like how it's sort of medievalish kind of, because of this, uh, it looks like what knights wear, as they're like, um, visors and stuff, and yeah. Okay, so, with the weapons he got, he has this baton that he came with, and you could actually put the baton right here. You can't really see it from the front, but you can actually, well, you can see it in front if you lift it up. You can actually put it here on, on this thing right there, um, batons. And, okay, about the armor, they were sort of like a, not a skirt, but like a cloth that goes, um, about like halfway down there. Um, and they have no, um, bottom armor whatsoever, except for these, I guess, but... Um, I think that's only for his shin, and these, these just wrap around him, because they have armor at the top, but none, there's none right here, so, you know, if he gets shot there, oh, he's done. Alright, anyways, with this, there's, uh, obviously number 22, but he also came with a, hold on real quickly, sorry about this, guys, a shield. Oh, there you go, a shield. <laughs> A shield also has a number 22 matching what is on his shoulder right there, 22 and 22 right there. 
and basically you can actually put the shield um you can actually hold the shield obviously like this just basically um where it has this thing um when you actually get it he's already holding it you can just like do um what i like to do first is you know how there's this little handle right here there's this little handle there he just grabs the handle like so and then just go down and then do that and there you go it's on and um he also came with a bazooka but in the picture on the box you can actually put the bazooka on here that's why it has two holes right there on the shield and there's two pegs on there because you can actually put it on like so which i think is actually really cool that's why i actually really like this figure is because you um i mean look at this guy he has a shield that can protect him from like um shots and he has and he can actually attach this bazooka right here there you see that you see how the bazooka is in there so actually that's really cool so you can actually do that with it and of course he has this baton right here and you just keep it down and that's basically it for this review and yeah that, so that's really cool about it um it doesn't come with anything else that's all it came with and yeah i think it's really cool so uh thanks for watching guys and i'll see you guys next time bye